Hey everyone, what's up? It's Chapman here, hey. and on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build one of the easiest four banger iron farms that you can in Minecraft. You don't even need any redstone for it, but you are going to need a pillager, and the key to this one is the roaming raid parties, so when these guys just come around, make sure you trap one of them in a boat and give them a name tag too as well. These are the items that you are going to need for all four of the iron farms. You are also going to need 12 beds and 12 villagers. And the first thing that we are going to do for this farm is we are going to place down four blocks, each of them with a 15 block gap in between them. Okay, four temporary blocks with a 15 block gap in between all of them. Next, above each one of these four blocks, you're going to build up another seven blocks in total. With your top block being your builder block, you should be eight blocks in the air, okay? Next, on the back side, we're going to place down a temporary block with another solid block above it. And then a trap door above the first block we place down. And then surround that trap door with three beds. Cover the beds and the block that you just placed down here with some trap doors. From the center here, we are going to build up two and then forward one, removing this back block so that we can replace it with a top half trap door. Then cover this with a torch in order to stop any iron golem spawns. From this trap door, we are going to build out one, two, three blocks, and then back another three blocks. On top of this temporary block, we are going to build ourselves a three by three spawning platform that goes away from the farm. Off of each end of the spawning platform, we are going to extend it by one by three. And then cover these extensions with our fence posts. Away from the farm, at the opposite end of the spawning platform, we are going to place down a chest with two hoppers feeding into the chest, and that is going to collect any iron that falls. Off of any one of these center fence posts here, we are going to build three signs towards the center. Lava is going to go above this center one, so we need to place three signs around this center sign. Four more above it, around that center sign. And that is so that we can place lava above that center sign. We can then remove this temporary block, place some water flowing towards the hoppers, remove all of our temporary blocks. And with that all done, that is what you should have right there. Now you just need to repeat that another three more times. And once you have that done, that is what you should have right there. Four iron farms all equally spaced out and apart. Try not to fall to your death when you're building this thing. Now it is time for us to get the pillager in place. And in order to do that, we are going to come to dead center on the farm right here. And we are going to build up six blocks in total. Off of the center block, we are going to place down a temporary block with a stair facing towards us. A solid block on both the left and the right side of the stair. Torches on both those solid blocks to prevent any spawns. And then we need to build this too high all around this center block that we just built right here. With that done, we can now waterlog this stair. Place one more trap door on the opposite side of the flow. And then cover these four blocks with some slabs. Once you are all done, that is basically what you should have right there. It's just a too high pit with some water that's going to bounce the pillager up and down, which is going to scare these guys, which is why we don't need any redstone. Now it's just time for us to get this guy in place. Easiest way to do that, because we have this trap door here, is just to run a row of the temporary blocks. Basically, make yourself a runway. This guy down here has a crossbow, so I have to make a runway. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to simply stair-step our way all the way back down to the bottom here. A little something like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and get this guy to chase me. I probably should have a shield doing this, but I think we'll be all right. Follow me! Okay, and hopefully if we do this... Come on, buddy. Yep, stay locked onto me. And it didn't work. So we're just going to have to punch him back. And there, he's now in. Now all we have to do is just place a slab above his head. 
protect ourselves from his shots. And then we're just going to encase this guy so that nobody can see him at all. With that done, we're just going to place a torch above this guy's head. And with him in place, this is what it should look like. He's just covered with a slab over his head. You guys will see it. But now we're going to get the villagers in place. And this is incredibly easy. From the bottom here, we're just going to build this out four blocks in total. And then from here, we're just going to stair step our way down. Add one more stair up here at the top and then make sure these trap doors are open. This is going to allow the villagers to get in here. And then we are just going to repeat that for all four of these sections right here. And with all four of your stairs in place and ready to go, now all we got to do is wait for nighttime. Once nighttime arrives, all we have to do is just set these guys free. They should all link up to these beds that are in here. You can already see the little jingles. And they should all just pathfind and make their way to whatever bed they want. You might have to give some of these guys a little bit of a push though because... Oh no, it's looking pretty smooth so far. But here goes the last guy here. He's just having a little bit of a hard time. And just like that, all... F what is this? 3, 6, 9, 12 villagers. All 12 villagers are in place. That took like a minute. Now we just need to remove all of these temporary blocks here where all of these stairs are. Remove any cats that are spawning. Get out of here, kitties. Get. Get. I love you, but you need to just go away. Remove yourself from this area. But with your stairs all removed, now it's just time to set it to daytime. I need my own bed. And once it's daytime, all your villagers should now be sitting in the center. And the farm is officially ready. But in order to spawn iron golems without having any mishaps, we just need to turn all of these blocks right here into path blocks. Get rid of any underside blocks. Turn any blocks that you need to use in order to jump up into path blocks. And then start removing them. This is going to stop any iron golems from accidentally spawning right around here and then killing the guy. But once that's done, all you have to do now is just don't let him prime. If he primes, yeah, take the shot. But there, once your stairs are all down and everybody is ready, we've already had one iron golem there. There goes another iron golem. There is a third, and we should have a fourth spawning unless I already... Nope, there it is right there. Four iron golems. But there it is. There is your quad iron farm all done. No redstone required whatsoever. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a one hour time lapse. Okay, I don't even have enough room for all the iron that I have. Because there is a lot of it. A lot of it. Obviously, you're going to want to extend your storage, you know, make it a little bit more, yeah. But that is it right there. Now, the reason why this farm works so well is because of a few things. We meet all the criteria. We meet it all. A, as you've seen by the time lapse, all villagers are capable of sleeping and being spooked by this one pillager. B, each spawning platform is outside the 16 block radius where villagers try to detect iron golems. So that means that the villagers that are in this pod do not detect the iron golems that spawn in these platforms out here. And C, each villager is just outside the 16 block radius where they need to communicate with each other and tell each other who is going to spawn iron golems. So each one of these pods is communicating with themselves and only with themselves, making each platform their own iron golem farm with all of them being spooked by this one single pillager. No redstone required at all. And you're going to get an iron golem every 14 to 18 seconds. I mean, there's three of them right there. This thing is insane. But that is it right there. That is your iron farm, your four banger, no redstone, very consistent iron farm, all done and ready to go. This thing hasn't changed much literally since I came up with it two and a half years ago. It's still the same thing. Just no redstone now. It's so simple. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.